guys, guys played exceptionally hard. Uh, particularly the defensive effort was outstanding. You know, as a team that's been averaging close to 50 points a game, uh, Arizona State that, that is. And to uh, play the type of defense we did was encouraging. Obviously, we got issues on offense. The last four series, two three and outs and two turnovers. Uh, couldn't protect a 12-point lead in the fourth quarter. And so that really you know, was disappointing. But uh, you know, Arizona, Arizona State's a good football team. Give them a lot of credit. They made the plays down the stretch. We did not. Uh, a lot of passes in the game, uh, special teams. Uh, Tom Hackett punted the heck out of the ball. Andy Phillips bounced back, made his kicks. Um, you know, so so positives there. But but uh, all that matters is is uh, the end result. We didn't get it done. So questions? Protection can't protect at all, and uh, it's a it's a problem. It's getting worse, and so. That's the biggest issue with the offense, right? The offensive line has uh, got to play better, plain and simple. Did you open up the competition on we'll find out. We'll evaluate the tape and, and uh, make decisions tomorrow and Monday on How that. First extra point? Uh, first extra point, we, we had uh, the uh, swing gate called, and we do that from time to time. And if we get the look that we wanted, uh, we go with it. We got the look. Uh, we just got to be one on one in a matchup. Got uh, one one of their we had a hat for everybody. One of our guys that was in a blocking situation got beat up the field, and and uh, that's why it didn't convert. But otherwise, it was the numbers that we wanted and that we were looking for. Hundred percent, uh, absolutely, hundred percent. No question about it. It's the offensive line protection. You know, we're not we're not protecting him. We got to we got to protect the guy, so that's what's got to happen. Seeing how this team has struggled in the past uh, defending against spread teams, is it is it satisfying to kind of hold ASU as little as you did? Yeah, it was a good effort by our defense. Like I said, they played played their hearts out, um, made play after play. But again, you know the downside is you got to protect a twelve point lead in the fourth quarter. So it's not uh, it's not a one sided uh, reason as why we lost the game. It's team effort. Didn't think so. We didn't change up much at all from what we were doing the entire game, you know, with as far as the run pass ratio and, and what we're doing there. And that run pass ratio that you bring up, that's nearly a two to one run. Yeah, if you can't protect your passer, you better try to run it because you're going to get your quarterback killed. And so that's not hard for us to figure out. We got to run the ball more in this, uh, in this game, and so we did. Can I get to that? This is the first time since 2006 that you guys. Failed to hold the halftime lead, did win the game. You've won 49 straight games with the halftime lead. Hmm. Um, it was just a matter. What did, what did you do so well over that stretch? And then today, was it just a matter, like I said, just things breaking down in the fourth quarter? Yeah, we lost the game in the fourth quarter. And, and uh, yeah, I don't have a great answer as to why we won 49 in a row, other than we made a lot of plays. Must have made a lot of plays in those 49 games. but. But uh, it certainly came to an end today. Talk about the progression of your guys' uh, secondary, uh, especially your oh, very pleased with the secondary. Keith McGill, I thought he was going to come away with a couple interceptions. It's unfortunate that we didn't, but he was in great position. And uh, I thought the secondary did a nice job. Uh, this team was throwing the ball for about 325 yards a game, the Arizona State crew. And I think we held them below 150. So it was, uh, like I said, a defensive effort, with the exception of not holding on to the lead at the end, was very positive. But you got to hold the lead. If they don't score, they don't win. In the fourth quarter, and we didn't get that done. Not only do they throw for a lot today, uh, Taylor Kelly runs for a lot of money. Yeah, again, great effort by the defense uh, for what three and a half quarters. But got to finish. Got to be able to finish the game. Are your receivers having trouble getting separation? Absolutely, having trouble getting separation. Yep, getting gloved up. Did I warn them of that? Like, oh, certainly, yeah. Well, we didn't. No one in this conference, I don't think, will back down in the fourth quarter. I mean, this is a conference full of good teams, 
And uh, I don't know what the combined record of the teams we've played in, but it's pretty darn good. And, and that's that's fine, though. That's what we want. You know, we're in the Pac-12, and and uh, you better be ready to compete every week and finish every week, which we didn't do. Thanks a lot. Okay.